Hey everyone, Jared Houston here again this week, uh, just with a quick recap and update for this week's uh, weekly blog. As always, we're going to go over three things happened last week in the market and three things happening this week in the market. So as always, let's jump right in. So last week we had a bunch of stuff coming out of the emerging markets, which um, affected our stock market drastically. So first thing that happened is China released export data on Monday, our Labor Day, so our markets were not open. It was a very soft opening. They had low exports, actually. Their exports are actually down 5% in August from July. So it's showing it's slowing down their economy as well. Um, additionally, they also had low currency reserves. They had actually $94 billion almost less in their currency reserves in the Chinese economy. So that shows that money is flowing out of the Chinese economy and their exports are low, um, which is actually causing all the fears and ripples throughout the market and the world. Second thing that happened is Brazil actually was downgraded by the S&P to a BB plus rating, which is actually junk rating, showing that there's less faith in the Brazilian market, stock market, economy as well, which these two things happening in the emerging markets led to the third thing to happen last week, which is the increase in the U.S. corporate bonds. We had great surging sales of the U.S. corporate bonds um, on Wednesday which is why our market's kind of been going up the last couple of days. Um, but we're still seeing a lot of pressures, a lot of 1% up and down coming through each market. So things to watch this week and really keep a hold of. Biggest thing is going to be happening Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday are going to be the big days this week. I foresee kind of a soft market, kind of slow, not much up or down gain until Wednesday and Thursday. Reasons being why. One, we're going to have the uh, CPI, Consumer Price Index, coming out on Wednesday which can be both positive or negative. Second thing that happened, we're going to have home builders data coming out on Wednesday. This will also show either positive or negatives throughout the market. If both of these are positives, I see that possibly impacting the Federal Reserve this week, which are finally going to announce that they are going to raise interest rates or lower interest rates. So I see these two possibly having an effect on the Federal Reserve's ultimate decision to either raise interest rates or lower interest rates which they will officially announce Thursday. Now, when they do announce Thursday, if they announce they are going to raise rates, even though it might not be a big impact on our economy, be ready to face some ups and downs because it's going to scare a lot of people. If they are not going to raise rates, be ready to see an uptick come up. So either way, we're going to have either a big up or a big down. Overall, generally, I don't see much of this Federal Reserve changing rates going to impact the U.S., but I do see it impacting it in a few days to short-term trading. So Mid-level range, I'm still optimistic, but next couple of days, especially end of the week, you're ready to see up or down market kind of jump up. So that's, that's this week's uh, weekly recap. We'll be back next week with some more guys, and until then, take care.